Well, let's cross to Brussels now and speak to our correspondent, Pierre Benazé. Pierre, a former EU digital commissioner is mentioned in this cache of Uber files, as they become known. What was the latest you've got for us? Well, Nelly Cruz, that's her name. She used to be, uh, obviously, the commissioner for the uh, digital agenda up until November 2014. And afterwards, when she stepped down, she was supposed to observe a uh, year and a half uh, cooling off period, as it's called, uh, in a code of conduct that affects all former uh, European commissioners. Uh, during those 18 months, she was supposed not to have any activity uh, in the fields that she covered as a commissioner, i.e. digital, obviously, uh, wherein uh, the uh, Uber apps and the Uber activities fall into. The uh, commissioner asked in 2015 uh, the European Commission to uh, grant her a license to work uh, for uh, Uber, which was formally refused uh, by the then president of the European Commission, uh, Jules Emmanuel Barroso, and that was in 2015, during this cooling off period. And nevertheless, she took contact with uh, diverse uh, Dutch authorities, uh, such as burgomasters and cabinet ministers, uh, among whose uh, Mark Rutte, former president, for the uh, current, uh, the incumbent um, uh, prime minister of the Netherlands. And she was lobbying for Uber. OK, well, thank you very much indeed for bringing us up to speed there. Uh, France 24's Pierre Benazé in Brussels. Thank you.